Hey nerds, this is Bevan, and welcome back to my channel. I just got back from watching Disney's Zootopia, and well, I was gonna do a video on it, but I was a little, little disappointed with it. It was good, but not great, and I just don't really have a lot to say about it, so I decided to skip that video and look towards the future. Captain America Civil War is right around the corner, so today I thought I would count down my top six Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Why six, you ask? Because who can choose just five? Coming in at number six. I chose four simply because I love the portrayal of the character by Chris Hemsworth he is ridiculously charming and funny and aloof, but I can totally buy him as this godlike character. Uh, he just has this physical charisma about him. Yeah, he's got the big muscles and the perfect teeth and the dimples and the long flowing blonde hair. And yes, obviously I have a man crush on Chris Hemsworth. Who wouldn't? Number five. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's probably the overall funniest movie in the entire cinematic universe for Marvel. Um, like a lot of people, I went into it not knowing what to expect, not having super high hopes. Um, but they super impressed me with it. Loved the character of Groot and Vin Diesel's uh, performance just literally saying four words the entire movie. I and Groot and M and we, and he just, he made it work so well. And I just love the big stupid tree. And I'm very much looking forward to volume two. Also Guardians of the Galaxy has to be on this list simply for the soundtrack. And also for the after credits cameo of Howard the Duck. I remember sitting in the theater waiting for the credits to end just so I could see whatever the after credit scene was gonna be, and it was Howard the Duck, and I lost my freaking mind because I thought it was just such a cool thing to throw in there. I mean, I love to hate George Lucas's Howard the Duck movie. It's just so bad that I just love it so much, and I was so happy that Marvel didn't ignore that, and they threw that little Easter egg in there for all the people like me who love bad 80s movies. Number four. Coming in at number four, I put Iron Man 3. Watching Tony Stark deal with the PTSD of the New York invasion that's seen in the original Avengers movie is just a very gripping storyline in my opinion. I love uh, the Iron Man character in this series of films and I think that having him be traumatized by these specific events uh, just really added a lot to the character. I thought it was a good uh, finale to the Iron Man trilogy. And yes, obviously they carried on with the character in other movies in Avengers 2 and coming up in Civil War. But I thought that in terms of the Iron Man standalone franchise that this was a really good finale, and now the Avengers can just kind of call on him um, for those galactic global threats. It was also just really cool to see all the different Iron Man suits in one big scene battling, and he's jumping from suit to suit to suit depending on the situation. It just changes the character. He's not this cocky billionaire playboy philanthropist anymore. He's like a real guy who has real emotions and you see the side character of Pepper Potts by his side through all of it and she doesn't leave him and I love seeing those two characters together. Which is also why the original Iron Man comes in at number three. The movie that started it all, the original Iron Man. I mean what is there to say about Iron Man? So many Marvel fans will put this movie at the top of their list or near the top of their list. Just like me, it comes in at number 3 out of 12 for these movies. Everything from the music with Ozzy Osbourne and ACDC to uh, 
the way they implemented the suit into all of it, and the way they were able to work around, you know, kind of trying to make that technology sound, seem realistic, that the suit can form around him. A big thing that Marvel always has the issue with is their villains. They have great, compelling heroes, but their villains always kind of tend to lack. Uh, no different than in this first Iron Man movie with Iron Monger. I forget the the guy's name, but the Iron Monger character was. It leaves little to desire. Could have been better. Was good enough. Number two, The Avengers. I mean, it was, it's one of the biggest blockbuster movies of all time. It's one of the highest grossing movies of all time. It's one of the pinnacles of genre films, in my opinion, my humble opinion. I mean, it's what the whole phase one was built around. Marvel went out with Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Captain America, Thor, and somehow connected these five different movies to culminate in one big event picture, which was the Avengers. And forgetting all of that, forgetting the importance of this movie towards the superhero genre, this movie is strictly at number two only for that shawarma scene at the end. Number one. And my favorite movie in the entire MCU is of course Captain America Winter Soldier. Which is kind of weird because Captain America the First Avenger is one of my least favorite in the entire series. But they came, the Russo brothers came in, took over the franchise, and really brought new life to it. I mean you have great action, you have great writing, you have the introduction of new characters like Falcon who I also really like a lot in this movie. Bringing in the Winter Soldier which plays back to the First Avenger but it really throws a wrench into what Steve Rogers thinks is his entire life. He's already messed up enough, you know, missing 60 or 70 years of history, but then throwing the fact that his best friend is now an assassination who's out to kill him. Not to mention the big spoiler alert reveal that Hydra has been running S.H.I.E.L.D. forever and then takes out the whole organization and goes after Captain America, goes after Nick Fury, goes after Black Widow, goes after the entire government. This movie, in my opinion, just epitomizes what a superhero movie can be. It has, like I said, it has great action, it has great everything. It has, it's just an amazing, amazing movie. And I cannot wait for the sequel to Winter Soldier, Civil War. I can only imagine what the Russo's are gonna be able to do when you throw in 10 other superheroes, including Spider-Man. Actually, go back to my channel, uh, check out my last video, which was a reaction video to the latest Civil War trailer with the introduction of Spider-Man in it. I'll link it below, so make sure you can go check it out there. While you're clicking stuff like links to other videos, feel free to hit that like button below. And then write in the comment sections what's your favorite movie in the MCU. Is it Winter Soldier? Is it Avengers? Is it Age of Ultron? Ant-Man? Guardians of the Galaxy? Thor? Thor Dark World? Iron Man 1, 2, or 3? Tell me what it is below. And hit that subscribe button because I'm putting out two videos every single week. So if you want to see me get way too excited about nerdy things like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then you're going to want to stick around and check out what I got coming up next. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bevan Boychuk. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stick around. I hope you see the next video. But until then, I'm out of here. <laughs>